Hello, what we're going to talk about today is the rad clamp radiator removal system and how they will actually take a radiator off the wall with all the water still inside it. Now we have had it suggested to us in the past that uh, when we've done previous videos taking radiators off that there's actually no water in the radiator. Well I can assure you that there, there are always there has been and I'm hoping that this, this video here now is going to prove how they work. Now it's very difficult to show uh, a radiator that's actually got water in it because obviously it's not transparent, you can't see. But in this case what we've done, we've attached a piece of transparent pipe to this T connector here, it's not a valve, it's just connected directly to the radiator. So it's actually filled to this point now, so the level of water in the radiator is across here and you can see the red marker. Now if we do the union valve here, water will start to trickle out. Now it's open to, um, it's open to um, the atmosphere on both sides, the air vent key is not in, the air vent bleed nipple is not in and that's open to atmosphere there so if I actually open the valve here you'll see the water starting to trickle out there and that marker there will start to, to drop as you can see water's coming out there and the Marker on the other side, starting to drop down. So the level in the water of the water and radiator is dropping. I'm just going to drop it to sort of that level and close it off. So there's the water, or some of the water out of the radiator there. Now what I'm going to do is attach the rad clamps and show you how they'll contain the water inside the radiator. So you attach the clamp to the bottom like that. the guide rod. Now in this case more water is going to come out of the radiator because it is open to atmosphere. So I'm going to place a cloth underneath to catch that bit of water and uh, I will show you now as quickly as I can how the rad clamps will contain the water inside if you can see, turn that up there, push that across. You can see now the rod clamp itself is holding the water inside the radiator and, and the level's dropped to there. To further prove it to you, I will slacken off the you can see there there's a there's a definite disconnection there. If I undo that again to let the the membrane seal loose off the tailpiece. See more water come out and it's dropped to the bottom now. And reseal it up again. There's so quite a lot of water come out of the radiator there, it's coming onto the floor. But you can see there that's that's now trapped the water in and held it up to that level. So the red clamps, when used properly, will hold the whole of the water in the radiator so you can take the radiator off with the water still inside uh, and when you've done the work on the wall whatever you're intending to do whether it's decorate paint whatever your whatever your intentions were you can put the radiator back on the wall and quickly reconnect reverse of a disconnect and then um, you can keep all your water your existing water in the system keep your, your valuable inhibitors in the radiator which are quite expensive and of course there's no refilling needed just maybe have to undo the the air, the air vent valve at the top and let a tiny bit of water out reconnect it and the water's um, back in the system so i'm hoping that uh, demonstration has shown to you that the red clamps do work and they will take a radiator off quite easily with the water still inside thanks very much for watching